So, I don't just make videos. I also write books. This is... I am so sorry. This is the Rolling Sea Beginnings Book 3 Hard Times. Available in paperback and Kindle on Amazon, as are all six of my books. Um, it tells how William, the first mate, became part of the ship. His mom passed away from cancer at age 16, and his dad changed the rules on him. You know, he made them, you know, more like horrible rules. You know, he has to be in by nine or something like that. And, and and like after dinner, instead of going to play with his friends or whatever, he has to go up to his room and study. You know, all stuff you don't want to do when you're young. Anyway, I, I don't know what the rules were, but I, I didn't develop it that much. But anyway, he changed the rules. So, so William doesn't like the way he's being treated because, uh, you know, he gets beat up by the adults sometimes, um, smacked around, shoved, you know, all sorts of mean things. So he doesn't like that. So he goes and he goes and runs away. Well, somehow he gets into the police station. Um, you know, got picked up and taken to the police station. He gets put in the and it gets put in a big room that has a whole bunch of runaways in it. And I want to say his name is Josh. Uh, he's a, a young policeman. He's only like 21. Anyway, he goes in there and he starts talking to William. Because William actually went and had a short fight, one punch, with the strongest guy in there and won. He punched him one time and knocked him out. So, uh, all the other boys are like, let me out, let me out, we'll tell you where we live. We want to go home. You know? So, Josh goes and takes him home, and you know, to his house, but that doesn't last. So, anyway, he ends up at some point on an airplane um, and meets a girl named Morgan and meets a girl named Heidi. Well, I think he meets Morgan. I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, I know he meets Heidi. Um, cause, cause he was flirting with her and she didn't like the attention. So anyway, um, then he ends up, you know, working at the same place that Morgan works and he still thinks he's having, you know, a rotten life, but... Hayden feels like he's having a good life. You know, he's he's working. He's, you know, making money. And, you know, he's good at making plans for the future and stuff. So Hayden thinks he's doing a good job. But, but he ends up going drinking with Hayden and his other friends. And that's where he re-meets Kitty. Although her name isn't Kitty. Her name is Cat, but he isn't I mean, she doesn't want to she doesn't want him knowing too quickly, you know? She she's trying to keep an element of mystery to keep him interested. So anyway, you're gonna have to read the book to find out how that goes. And you know I'm trying to do this so I can make some money. So I can donate at least half of it to worthy causes such as our local food bank because most of the time we get expired food. You know, it's not going to last very long. Um, I personally don't like eating outdated food because I was always told it was not okay to eat it. So... I don't like how they're giving away food that I wouldn't eat myself. You know, I don't think that just because you're less fortunate, you should be getting bad food. You know, so I want to be able to donate good food. 
And I also want to buy, um, buy a piece of land and put tiny homes on it. So anybody who needs one for a while can stay there. Preferably those that are really less fortunate, like the guy that was behind Save Mart and died because it was, you know, like 10 degrees outside. You know, I, I don't want that to ever happen again. So, please buy my books. The money is going to go to a worthy cause. And have a great day. I just realized I've been doing stuff and talking to y'all and everything, and I didn't even unpause it. Oh, gosh. I didn't do much. So I got enough iron ore to do one more ironing it. Which, now that we've got that, I'm going to hit save just to make sure. Okay, um, so we got 10 out of 30. I think that's awesome. We still need more hardwood. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I didn't hit the go button. Thought I did. But, um, I went through the Vilas Mines and got everything there, and that's how I got some of the iron ore. I picked up some hardwood, and see, this is the reason why I stopped doing my other file and started doing this one for a while, because uh, I missed some stuff. But I missed, like, you know, days of stuff, not just, you know, about 10 minutes or whatever it was. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I did. Oh, and I might have picked up some hardwood if I didn't say that. Hardwood or is this? No, this is the other wood. Okay, well now we can pick up everything and I think it should be okay. We only need seven more of the hardwood. And if we keep picking it up every time we see it from now on, the next time we need hardwood, we'll have it. I've had times when, I mean, you've seen it here, but I've had times when I had every single piece of everything because I stockpiled it. And that's a very good thing. So I think I'm going to go on my other file. I don't know if I'm going to record it, but I think I'm going to go on my other file and, you know, give, <gasps> yay! Okay, we just need iron ingots. Woohoo. Anyway, I think I'm going to go on my other file and, you know, catch up with everybody, give them their favorite stuff. Because I haven't been on that file for a while. And they're supposed to be, because, you know, because there's really nothing to do. I, I need to. Um, what did I need to do? Okay, I can't remember what I needed to do on it, but I need to do that. And then, um, there was nothing else to do. Um, I've done, you know, on the other file. No, wait. On the other file, I've done... Oh, I need to do some more forging on the other file. That's what it was. 
And, but I've done, like, all the gardening, all the fishing, all the cooking collection, um, you know, all the friendship stuff, the village, and I may still be working on mining, but I, I don't know. Anyway, you know, there's, like, nothing to do. Through absolutely no fault of their, of the game maker's because they, you know, they put everything on there. I just have way too much time. Yeah. When the W fires you for absolutely nothing. Ah! Oh, but is it a shiny or a regular? Oh, man, it's a regular. Okay, but it's close. Ooh, cherry tree. Yeah, I didn't think I'd done these. Okay, we have three. Oh, four or five. What's this one? Another emerald. Grr. Ew, a shiny citrine, but I think the person wanted a citrine. stuff. I don't remember where I got that from either. I watch a lot of TV. Or, I used to watch a lot of TV. I play a lot of video games. I can't imagine trying to watch TV like when I was a kid now I would get so bored um you know because when you're a kid you just you know watch TV and, and you don't care that the video game is not on or whatever but but I love playing video games so so I know I would get so bored okay did I get those yeah I got those okay Oh, did I get that one? Yeah. Okay. I'm just trying to get the... 
you know, I'm just trying to get, oops, the um, iron ore so I can make the iron ingots. Okay, now we have enough for two, so it'll be 12. Yeah, I was going to say, where is she? Oh, hey, Donald. <gasps> what? Great day for fishing, he says. Oh, I have something to give you. Because I didn't give you that. Oh, Donald's level 10? Okay. Here, have the other one. He says, oh boy, thanks. And then he says, what a great day for fishing again. And then he's going to take, uh, uh, take where he left off. Those are rocks. I need iron ores. Ugh. Okay. Do I have seaweed? Of course not. Keep saying I need to get seaweed so I can give it to the poor turtle. And do I give it to the poor turtle? No. I got jewels. I mean minerals. My help if I ate something. Um, but that's from Mother Gothel. Oh, okay. We have the raspberries. And some garlic. Okay, I wonder what somebody's breath would taste like. I mean, what not taste like, sorry. Would it smell like? If they had raspberries and garlic, would the garlic overwhelm or would it be okay because of the raspberries or what? Hold on, that gives me an idea. Okay, so I literally just texted my sister. They like to do food challenges. So, I texted my sister that someone should eat raspberries and garlic and then tell me what it smells like.
And if they actually do it, I will let you know. Or I will um, put the name of the video like in the description. Okay, so if I got that one, how come I couldn't get this one? Entirely different jewel. Oh, these are shinies and that one's not a shiny? Question mark? I bet you that's the problem. So let's find out. Yeah, those are shinies and oh, and that's the one that we needed for whoever it was. Okay, how many? Oh, okay, so we have enough to make three, so we're at 13. Oh, 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 I hope I can pick this up. Dang it. I don't remember anything that needs dry wood at the moment. Okay, so now we have 18. We almost have enough to do a fourth. Well, that's 19. Um, I mean, not ni not 19 of the um, iron ingots, but 19 of the iron ore. Okay. Can I pick that up? Yep. Now this is a great day to play outside. Yeah, but if we play outside, we won't be playing with you, Woody. Oh, unless we're playing you know, when he goes to the forest or the jungle. See, I can come up with all kinds of neat ideas. says, oh boy, oh boy, I have great Help. neighbors. Okay. We need some of these. And I don't know which ones we need. Never mind. Never mind, Goofy. Okay, so if we're giving away stuff that people want, shiny citrine. That's what we needed. Wait, what else do you need? Shiny citrine, uh, vanilla, and purple hydrangea. Okay, um, I don't have the vanilla either. Okay, where is Wally? 
Oh, where, oh, where, oh, where is Wally? Where, oh, where, oh, where is Wally? Where, oh, where, oh, where is Wally? I can't find him on the map. Unless he's suddenly taking him eating. Nope. Okay, he's not in the Forgotten Lands. He's not gardening. Oh, I think he's over here. Okay. Um, where is over here? It's like I knew where over here was and then spaced on it. I'm trying to find Wally Bunny. Nope, that is oh now yeah. This okay. Is a great day to play outside. Hey, howdy, hey. No, I don't want to talk to you yet. What do you got? Oh, you want an amethyst. <clears throat> so I'm level 39. <clears throat> Not inside, although it does save me from him yelling. Now they're all gone. <clears throat> Stupid doors. Okay, and if we happen to find Wally, I mean, uh, Woody on the way over, that's okay. If you're wondering what to do, just listen to that little voice inside you. And you wanted Red Nostrum. But you wanted a shiny emerald, not a regular one. So long, partner. Okay, now where will he go? There he goes. Ah! I have something for you. A shiny citrine. Wally, whoopee! Unfortunately, I got nothing else. Oh, wait. Is everything okay? Aww. Wally looks a little sad today. I should try to cheer him up. Hey, hey, Wally. Huh? You're doing a great job. Okay, so, oh wow, we had 100 daily discussions. Now we need 400 more. Thorny bed. That's non Disney non Disney related. Oh, because of the night thorns. Yeah, okay. See, they ought to have a separate for stuff specifically of Dreamlight Valley. Okay, we're 
first we're going to go over here. Make more iron ingots. Four of them. So we got 14. And then we're going to take the shiny citrines and like that with them. And that and that. I don't have a shiny emerald. I don't know if anybody wanted a regular emerald. I think somebody wanted a tourmaline. I don't know who. Fine. I guess we'll have to go and make another chest. Or place an... Yeah, we need to make another chest and then place another chest. Specifically for... Actually, I think we have one in there already. Oh, because of 25 wood each. Okay. That was not computing. not what I meant. Yeah, that's what I meant. Um, I don't know where I want to put this. I guess I'll put it right here. Okay, so that, 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 and that because I wanted a shiny. And then perfect. And so we need more. Okay. Now we're going out and getting more iron ingot stuff. Actually, we're going to hit save. Oi. Okay. So we're going to leave it here. I hope you're having a great day. Know that you are enough. Know that there's no problem you cannot solve. And I'll see you in the next video. Hi, so I don't just make videos, I also write books. Um, this is Adopted Coral. It's a cute book that I wrote about my cat. It's a kid's book. Um um, it's available on Amazon, paper and paperback and Kindle, just like all six of my books. This one, um, she starts out telling her and telling us that she was from the kitty pound and we adopted her. So now she's got her daddy who she hangs out with a lot. She doesn't hang out with mommy so much. But but if mama wants to cuddle, she'll cuddle. So anyway, um, and she tells us about her brothers and, and, uh, I think where her food dishes and, and stuff like that. I'm probably going to come up with a more up-to-dated version 
because I kind of looked at it and the pictures aren't as great as I would like them to be. Um, but it is a good book. And I'm, you know, part of the reason why I'm writing these books and trying to get people to buy them is so I can donate good food to our local food bank because a lot of the food that comes out of the food bank is expired. And I don't think that just because you're less fortunate than some other people that you should have to eat expired food. It's just not right. So I want to be able to donate um, food and possibly money to the food bank. I want to be able to um, get a plot of land and put some tiny homes on there so nobody else perishes in the snow behind the grocery store and I want to be able to do what feels like little little things like um, like buying kids toys you know that were posted on the angel tree or donating to toys for tots or you know put money towards Shriners and Make-A-Wish and and um, that last one that was in my head a second ago. Well, anyway, that one, too. <laughs> but I can't do anything without money, so please buy my books and have a great day.